Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl the Real True Divine Feminine here and I come with a quick little message for you. And my message to you guys is, <laughs> listen, someone from the past is trying to convince you that you and them belong together, that you and them should get back together. Do not put yourself in a situation going back to nobody who have forged your name, who have put you in trouble where you could have left your kids to fend for themselves? Somebody, they dropped the ball. They did something dumb, stupid, and they going to jail for it. But if you take this person back, this person is not going to go to jail. You're going to be the one that's going to jail. Do not be out here being nobody's fool, nobody's flunky, and accepting somebody back from the past who will make you lose your children leave them to raise for themselves, lose everything that you accomplish and they gonna go on with your life i'm telling y'all y'all be thinking these people coming back from the past because they love you they figured out that you was the one hell nah they didn't sign your name on some stuff they didn't forge your name on some stuff, threw you in the mix, put you in the blend, did all the rest of this stuff to you, try to get you caught up because they was feeling played. They was feeling played about some stuff, so they put you and got you caught up in some stuff. So some of y'all, there's some federal stuff that they didn't try to put you caught up in. And the people on their ass, since the people on their ass, they want to try to spin the bin and come back to you. When they come back to you, you ain't going to be, you. If, if they come back to you and you accept them, you going to be able to one go down for it. Man, I don't care if this your friend, your sister, your brother, your baby daddy, your ex-husband, the one who can sling D good, the one who can pop the P good. I don't care who this is from your past. If they was from yesterday, that's your past. Don't rekindle no relationship with these people. I'm telling you. I don't know why I got to keep warning y'all whoever this message is for. I don't know why I got to keep warning you about this. Warning comes before destruction. I'm tired of telling y'all over and over. I really am. Whoever this person is that's trying to come back because they about to try to spin the bin. You heard me? Try to act like you got a contract with them. You you and them soulmates. You and them life partners. You and them... I don't care. Listen, I don't care how many kids you got for somebody. I don't care how much you love somebody or think you love somebody. Don't take this person back from the past, y'all. Listen, I'm going to keep... I'm about to turn the light on so I can tell y'all. Because I'm going to keep it a band with y'all. Listen. When people have you in their life, if they don't do right by you, then giving them a second chance is not going to have them give right by you. Do right, not going to do right by you, not going to do any of that. Let me tell you something. If people been out of your life seven years, five years, two years, three years, one year, six months, seven months, leave those people out of your life. It's for a reason. When God removes people out of your life, do not allow those people to come back. Let me tell you something. Every time you bow your head and close your eyes, when God hear your prayers, the devil hear your prayers too. The devil will wrap that snake up, make that snake look sharp, fine, together, even throw a couple of racks in that snake pocket to come back and tempt you and get you back stuck. Do not fall for the okie dokie. Somebody who love you, 110 love you, they will not put you in no compromising position where your children got to raise yourself or will you go do some jail time behind them. A real man or a real woman go own up to what they do, stand on all 10 and do their time with their hand on their head like a real one. But like I say, a real one. See these little fake wanksters and wannabe, wannabe women out here that's doing all this stuff that's setting you up because you want to move on with your life, doing all this other kind of stuff because you don't want to be with them. He he lying on you, putting stuff on you, trying to put false charges, trying to sue you, trying to do all the rest of that because you don't want to be with them. That's not no real men and no real women. A real man... When he get caught up in stuff, man, he going to take his lick like a G. You heard me? No ratting, no snitching, no nut. They going to do their time. 
But these, whoever this is, is LaRue, they toilet paper, soft. You heard me? Whoever you dealing with, they not no real man. They not no real woman. They not going to take accountability for what they did. They would never, ever, ever, even with the police knowing the truth, they would never, ever, ever admit they still going to try to put the blame on you. Still want you to go down because they don't want you to go nowhere. They don't want you to be in a happy relationship. They don't want you to be happy. They they want to see you upset. They want to see you broken. They want to see you bitter. They want to see you broke. And it ain't meant for you to be none of these things. This person is your worst enemy. But they going to put on the front and the stunt like they love you. They want the best for you. They want you to win. They want you to eat. They want you to do this. This person don't want to do none of that. This person wants to see you fall. This person wants you to be without everything. Without your kids. Without your freedom. Without money. Without a house. Without a car. Without nothing. This person wants you down. And if you want to be down then that's your choice. We all have free will to do whatever. But I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a woman and I'm going to say this. Whether you are a man or you are a woman. Man, if you have kids out here in this world, don't let nobody take you away from your kids who depending on you. If you know you're the primary person that got to take care of these ch children, don't let nobody make you do nothing to leave your kids. If somebody hurts you, cross you out they hurt your kids why in your right mind would you allow somebody who put you in a situation where you had to be depressed be sad be upset lonely crying and you probably couldn't even parent your children why in your right mind would you go back to someone who put not only put you through that agony and that heart heartbreak but also your children us as people Yes, we're supposed to live our life, but when we have kids, we got to make better decisions, not just for us, but for the people that's dependent on us, for the people that wake up and need us. You heard me? And a lot of y'all have kids that need y'all, but y'all get with these trifling men and these trifling women who is jealous envious because they can't have a status that you have because they, they don't have the knowledge that you have because they ain't going where you have because they got to rob Peter to pay Paul because they got to beg bum and sell they stuff to get what you got to get. They don't like that. And they, when you doing good, they want to stop you. They want to destroy your, assassinate your character. They want to do all the rest of this stuff. They want to do that. But guess what? It be the same people. They be on drugs, sleeping in cars, sleeping in hot uh, park benches, sleeping from people couch to people couch, uh, owing people buku of money, can't pay their rent, can't pay their bills, can't do none of this, trying to stop you. These people, man, I'm telling y'all, listen, if it's some of your family, man, God cut you off from these people for a reason. Don't go back, bro, listen, and re-family these people. I don't care what happened, don't do it. If it's somebody that you used to mess with, man, don't go back and mess with them. Because guess what? When you stop messing with them, they was pillow talking about you. They did all the rest of this to hurt you, to harm you. They even teamed up with other people. Let these people go who don't mean you no good. Man, God took you out of that mud. God put you... Put your feet on solid ground for a reason. God made everything you had lost while you was dealing with them people. God tripled and blessed you. And he, he allowed you to get on your stuff. He allowed you to make your money. He allowed you to stack your stuff up. Don't go back and mess with these people who had you down in the slumps. I'm telling you. A person who has shit will make you lose everything. And when you lose something, you also going to lose the people that's depending on you. Don't go back to nobody, bro, to make you lose your children, to get you caught up, get you locked up. Because whoever this person is, they did something concerning you. Some identity theft, some bank fraud, some whatever. Whatever it is that they did, they did it concerning you. And this person, if you take this person back, I put this on everything I love. You're going to go to prison and this person going to go to the next victim. Y'all stay woke out here. Don't be out here sleep, bro. Don't be out here sleep. You not crazy. What God is showing you, them signs and them sickernesses, pay attention to it. What you seeing, you seeing. 
Don't let nobody manipulate you and say that it wasn't them that tried to put you in a court case. It wasn't them that tried to sue you. It wasn't them that signed your name fraudulently. Don't let your sister or your brother or your homegirl or your cousin manipulate you and say that they did not forge your signature, that they did not try to get that loan in your name, that they did not use your name to do those scams because it was them. If God is showing you, believe what God is showing you. Whoever this person is, they despise you. They hate your existence. They couldn't break you, so they hate you. They're going to try to come back and act like they love you, show you nothing but the fake love to get close to you. I'm telling y'all, if you allow this snake, this sister, this brother, this cousin, this auntie, this baby daddy, this ex-lover, this freaky leak, whatever they is next to you, you're going to do from 8 to 20 in prison. Let this person go. If this person contacts you, call the police. Listen, it's a code I live by, y'all. It's a street code. We don't do no rat and we don't do none of that. This message ain't for me because it's like I said, it's a code I live by. But I'm telling you, for whoever you are, don't let nobody mess up your name. This person already tried to destroy your character. Don't let this person have you on the news, in the newspaper. This is what this person trying to do. Don't let your children see you behind that glass. This person did some fraudulent stuff to you and trying to come back in love on you. Do not let it happen. I don't know what this message is for, but I pray this message reach who it needs to reach. And you understand. Don't go by what I say. Pray. Ask God to show you if this message is for you. And if this message is for you, take heed. Don't let nobody come play in your face. To try to get your children awarded to the state. Don't let nobody come play in your face. To try to get your head knocked off. Don't let nobody that come play in your face. That when you didn't have nothing, they shoot, shoot and talk about you. Don't let nobody come play in your face that they sign illegal contracts behind your back. See, when you learn how to sit still and sit alone, God let you hear stuff. He let you hear what them snakes discussing and how they moving out here. Don't let nobody trick you out of your spot, out of your blessings, out of your joy, out of your peace, out of your nothing. Remember, the only way you get rid of a snake is to cut their head off. Be done with that snake in this whole situation. Whoever you are, you're getting ready to have a court case. And the power going to be in your hand. To speak up, you can either help this person or hurt this person. But before you go to this court case, they're going to try to spin the bin and give you that fake love. You heard me? Remember, God was betrayed by the people that kissed him. By the same people who feet he washed. Stay woke. Peace.